Before I get started, I, I don't know who's in the room from Civic Hack still, if David and Wolf are still here, but what they're doing today, if you look around this room, this is amazing. These kinds of things are really inspiring for me. This is the second year of this happening, and it's enormous. And there's stuff, real stuff, that comes out of days like this that, that collectively amounts to really great progress in our city. So. I just want to make sure we recognize those guys again is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was 35 years old and I was working for a production builder. We would go from suburb to suburb and we would stamp out multifamily communities and I was starting to get pretty disenfranchised with this work. We were successful, but I wasn't feeling like this was really it for me. And then the Great Recession happened. And every home builder, every real estate developer in the world was now getting their ass handed to them. It was not a fun time, and I was um, really questioning what I wanted to do with my work and with my life. I was married happily with three kids. My wife is here to attest to all of this. And um, had a mortgage and was living a big boy life and um, had a nice cushy salary and um, could have stayed with that for a long time, <clears throat> but I wasn't happy. And so I found a life coach. I found somebody to work with, a company called Built to Lead, who taught me about the power of the pen, as we call it. We started writing. We started going through some exercises. And the first exercise we did was something we call the love twos, which was just to write all the things that I loved about life, things that appeared to be really disconnected from my work at the time, things like running and traveling and art and music and mentorship and volunteering in the community. And then as that list emerged, there were things that, as it developed, there were things that emerged that were actually connected to my work in ways that I didn't expect, like design and architecture, and leaving a legacy, and impacting the landscape of the community, touching people's lives every day. There were things that were there that were connected that I didn't really see. At the same time, I started to get involved with something called Summit Series, which some of you may have heard of. This was a, a pretty amazing group of people. Today, there are household names that are involved, like Uber and PayPal, and Tom Shoes, but at the time, these people were transforming industries. They were shaking up uh, entire lines of business and doing them entirely different. I started thinking to myself, what if I could do that? What if I could take all the things that are on this list, these things that, that seem to be totally disconnected and some of them connected, and what if I could transform our industry? What if I could find a new way to build community, a way where Maybe I could take my interest in, in philanthropic efforts and organize, collaborate a way for people that lived in our communities with the push of the button to be able to volunteer in the community or to walk down the hall and, part and participate in a wellness class or be steps away from a community garden or um, to, to do any number of things that I always saw as totally disconnected. And what if I could build a team? What if I could build a team of people that also shared that same passion for their work, that loved what they did, that felt connected to it, that shared my vision for how community could be built? What if we could go for long runs where we would talk about issues instead of being stuck in soulless office buildings? And so with that idea, with that dream, we set out in 2011 to start Kaufman Development a company that was built around building communities that were focused on wellness and sustainability and philanthropy and innovation. And that's what we did. We um, focused on building communities that, that were filled with people that were beautiful from the inside out and that in our own way could change the world. So I had a deal and I went out into the community and like Wolf, I had, um, probably not stop, <laughs> uh, but I'll wrap it up soon. I had 14 out of 15 banks tell me that I was out of my mind and that there was no way that this would work, but I found one. I talked one into giving me a $28 million bank loan. 
which I personally guaranteed with a signature that I can assure you was worth nothing. <laughs> but they, they gave it to me. And people would ask me, did, you, did that keep you up at night? How does that feel to be signed on so much debt? And I can honestly tell you that never once did that keep me up at night. That was not what was keeping up at me at night. It was this line from Shawshank Redemption, the, the line of get busy living or get busy dying. That continued to repeat in my head. The idea of dying a slow death is what kept me up at night. That and like copy machines and what a server was and why was it so expensive and <laughs> all the logistics that just drove me insane. But that's what we've been doing and we've never looked back. We've been having a lot of fun. We go from community to community and now we're evolving into all kinds of new products. We continue to try to find ways to disrupt. We're building agri-hoods in the suburbs and looking at solar and mixed use buildings downtown, centers for collaboration and um, we are aspiring to build the most kick-ass mixed use building in Franklinton sometime soon, stay tuned. And we continue to dream and we continue to do and we love our work and we screw up all the time. We make a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes. We get a lot of really good press, but I guarantee you it's not all smooth. We stumble, we fall down, we get back up. Occasionally it goes really well and we crush it and we high five and we go for a run and we have a drink and then we go back to work because we love what we do. We love each other. We love this community. We love our families. We love our lives. And there's no better feeling than that. Thank you.